Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a little video I've put together of a trip I did just before Christmas last year, 2021. Up to a favourite little spot of mine, Watumba Creek, on the inside of Fraser Island. Up the top end of Harvey Bay, or Platypus Bay, is more specific. So if the tide allows, uh, I actually like to go in and just lay a new track on my plotter, so I can find my way in and out low light. So I did that, had a swim, as you can see it's just beautiful on a high tide. Prepped up some tackle and went out looking to see if there are any tuna or mackerel around. Tell what they are. Some sort of little tuna. They're feeding on flying fish, baby flying fish. Well, I'm not going to muck around chasing these things all afternoon. They're really biting. Uh, I can't tell if they're a mackerel or a tuna. I haven't seen a fish out of the water slashing more like a mackerel, but, but no, I don't think they are. Anyway, I think we might go for a nice sunset and enjoy the creek this afternoon. Tomorrow it's all about chasing little blacks up at Rooney's. So what I'm referring to, a little black marlin. It's a unique fishery and the, there's nowhere else in the world where you can find these little black marlin on the sand flats. But um, I had left my run a bit late this year. Those of you who follow my social media, you'll know I've, uh, I think I had 60 days at sea in the last three months of last year. So squeezing this little trip in was hard, but I had to do it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I was a bit late for the little black marlin, I think. Anyway, up here, it just doesn't matter. It's such a beautiful place. Well, no fish today, but who cares? Have a look at this. And I got it all to myself, it never happens. So I woke up to an absolute beautiful day, as per the forecast, and made my way out to see what I could find. As I said, I was going to target the little blacks. So it's a bit of a run, about 10 nautical miles up the inside, heading north, uh, along the flats there. Generally that top end of the islands where those little blacks are. Ideally, forecast-wise, when you're fishing up here, you're looking for anything with east in it, really. Northeast around to southeast. And a little boat like mine, preferably under 15 knots. And then, you know, you get these glass-offs in the mornings sometimes, which is just fantastic. Loving my autopilot, as you can see. But you should note, I also wear a life jacket with EPIRB and a kill switch just in case I did fall over. Not that you want to spend too long in the water up here. Lots of sharks. Rooney Point, up the top northwest corner of Fraser Island and that's, you know, basically where we catch the little black marlin. Alright, hooked up. I think Mac Tuna. Yeah, so the marlin fishing just wasn't looking right. Um, and then I came across some working birds and busting up schools of fish. Decided to have a bit of a spin on them. Interestingly, I didn't see any birds working from Watumba all the way to Rooney. These were uh, a good few nautical miles north of Rooney's Point. Obviously I'm chasing something for the table. You know, I was hoping for a spotty mackerel or a long tail tuna. But uh, given I like to do a bit of shark fishing occasionally, I uh, thought I might keep a uh, mac tuna for burly and bait. Giant mac tuna. 
pound for pound, these things can really pull. Oh, the size of that beak. size of that thing. Woo. Oh yeah. God doesn't know it's hooked yet. Beauty. Let him go, eh? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I gave that away and thought I'd just have a little bit more of a troll back in towards Rooney's where I wanted to have a swim and some lunch. There were some bait schools as you can see, but wasn't happening and I wasn't too fussed to be honest <laughs> so, a little turtle here something I like to do is there's this old wreck here it has a few oysters on it they're, they're small and fiddly and stuff but they're sweet and beautiful only thing is you get little sharks swimming around you and turtles and whatnot Makes you a bit wary. If you do want to have an oyster off here, only take a few guys. <laughs> Even for everyone else to share. Trying to film with one hand and open an oyster with another. It's challenging. <laughs> but worth it. These bait schools or bait balls that were coming through actually had quite big whaler sharks on the back of them. Sort of got me out of the water pretty quickly. Decided to do a little bit more trolling before making my way south back to uh, Watumba. Seeing these wild dingoes on the beach is always a spectacular thing of Fraser Island. And back in the creek. Sunset drinks on the dunes. And you can see a few more boats are turning up now. I think it was Thursday afternoon. So you got a few people planning their long weekends up here. It's just a special place. Beautiful water clarity on the high tide. So I started the morning with a swim and then it was uh, back out to have another crack. Right, I've got a spotty on, a big one. So just like the day before, I didn't see any birds working until I got right up north of Rooney Point. But this time, there were some spotty mackerel amongst them, so I was pretty keen to get a hold of one for the table. Oh, kidding me. I'm sure if we got bitten off on bus. Spotty mackerel, only fishing in 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, so that's the risk you take. Well, all that action shut down pretty quickly, and I didn't manage to get anything for the esky. <laughs> anyway, I decided I'd head south, see if there was anything happening, have a nice swim, a bit of lunch, and uh. See what else I can come up with. This was interesting, that was a dingo on a uh, dead turtle. But everywhere I wanted to stop for a swim there were sharks. 
place is amazing. It's so alive up here. Anyway, eventually I just got in very shallow. Get the good look out. That's just a shovel nose shark, so there's no drama there. Anyway, after lunch, I thought I'd go out and uh, do a bit of good old-fashioned shark fishing. Use my uh, Mac tuna in the burly bin. Put a big chunk out. Just tried a bit of old-school shark fishing. I just laid a burly trail about, I don't know, three or four hundred metres long. Just patrolling along doing the... Uh, this is the spot. This is the spot where we uh, catch them when we're. The, they, these are the ones that attack our tuna when we're tuna fishing here. So generally, it's a hot spot, but uh, with no tuna action, I don't know. They're probably scattered. We'll see how we go. Anyway. Good old-fashioned burling up. kind of fun to sit and relax and fish like this sometimes. Generally when I'm shark fishing, I'm, they're right there, the big bull sharks that are all around the boat because of our tuna fishing or whatever. Okay. I had a few garfish that I'd brought up as skip baits for the marlin, but I thought I'd give them a go instead of wasting them. Anyway, whilst doing that, eventually I hooked a shark. A little shark on. Well, I think it's a shark. Yeah, a little shark. Just dominating it. Well, no match for the 80. Nice little bronze whaler, I assume. Very pretty. Well, let you go, little fella. Any excuse to run a couple of flags. <laughs> so it was back into Watumba Creek. Time for an evening swim. Bit of an explore. This is interesting the way it's opened up here on the southern bank again. I hadn't seen that up close. It's busted through after some heavy seas. And then all the uh, weekend boys were arriving. Which is fine. It's nice to talk to some people on the beach occasionally. Have a look at the nice sunset. Get some pretty pictures. And unfortunately, no fresh mackerel for dinner. <laughs> but as I've said before, the fishing's really, you know, it's a bonus up here. It's one of those places, it can be really hit and miss. You know, I've had a few trips up here where we've caught very little, but you know, had other trips where I've got three or four marlin in a day, so, you know, and bagged out on mackerel and tuna and everything, so. Anyway, nice evening, and then uh, lovely swim in the morning before heading back home. You can see all the guys here. Those tinnies, they're sort of the ideal boat for coming up to Watumba Creek and get in on all the tides, and this was a rather alarming and concerning sight seeing this sort of mini cruise ship out the front of Watumba Creek. My understanding is they bring hordes of passengers in and let them explore around the place. It's not really set up for it, Watumba Creek. I don't think that sort of pressure's good for it. 
Anyway, maybe it's a COVID thing and they'll move on again. So as usual, beautiful run home. As long as you've got that easterly forecast, you just get this sort of stuff all the way. Some of the campsites on the western shore there, I think that's called Awunga. back into Yurangan Harbour. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. There's a few more videos to come. Okay, cheers.